Hi guys, uh, today's topic on NBC is how blood pressure works and especially the high blood pressure. We shall be doing one on low blood pressure at a later date. If you lined up all the blood vessels in your body, they could well extend to 95,000 kilometres long. Every day your blood vessels carry the equivalent of over 7,500 litres of blood. Don't worry, it's the same 4 or 5 litres recycled over and over. It delivers oxygen and precious nutrients like glucose and amino acids to the body's tissues. Your blood uses a force on the muscular walls of the blood vessels. That force is named blood pressure and it rises and falls with the phases of the heartbeat. It's at its highest when the heart contracts the forced blood through the arteries. This is called your systolic blood pressure. When the heart is at rest between beats, blood pressure falls to its lowest value and is named the diastolic pressure. A typical healthy individual should produce a systolic pressure between 90 and 120 millimetres of mercury and diastolic pressure between 60 and 80. Well, taken together, the normal reading is a bit less than 120 over 80. The blood goes through the landscape of the body through the pipes of the circulatory system. As in any plumbing system, several things can increase the force on the walls of the pipes, such as the properties of the fluid, extra fluid, or narrower pipes. So if the blood thickens, a higher pressure is needed to push it, so the heart will pump harder. Well, as they say, a high salt diet will lead to a similar result. The salt promotes water retention and the extra fluid increases the blood volume and blood pressure and stress, like the fight or flight response. It releases hormones like epin epinephrine, I can't even pronounce it, that constrict key vessels increasing the resistance to flow and raising the pressure upstream. The blood vessels can usually handle these fluctuations easily. It's elastic fibres embedded in the walls make them resilient. But if your blood pressure greatly rises above approximately 140 over 90, we call this hypertension. And if it stays there, it can cause serious problems. Well, that's because the extra strain on the arterial wall can produce small tears. When the injured tissue swells up, substances that respond to the inflammation, like white blood cells, collect along the tears. Well, fat and cholesterol floating in the blood latch on too, eventually building up to form a plaque that can stiffen and thicken the inner arterial walls. It can have dangerous consequences if a plaque ruptures. A blood clot formed on top of the tear, clogging the already narrow pipe. Well, if the clot is big enough, it can completely block the, uh, the flow of oxygen and nutrients to cells downstream. In vessels that feed the heart, that will cause a heart attack. When oxygen deprived cardiac muscle cells start to die. If the clot cuts off blood flow to the brain, it can be the cause of a stroke. Well, dangerously clogged blood vessels can be widened by a procedure called an angioplasty. In this procedure, doctors thread a wire through the vessel to the obstructed site, and then they place a deflated balloon catheter over the wire. When the balloon is inflated, it forces the passageway open again. Another procedure is where a rigid tube called a stent. This is placed in a vessel to help hold it open, letting the blood flow freely to replenish the oxygen-starved cells downstream. 
Well, staying flexible under pressure is a tough job for the arteries. The fluid they pump is composed of substances that can get sticky and clog them. And your typical healthy heart beats about 70 times a minute and at least 2.5 billion times during an average lifetime. Well, that may sound like an insurmountable amount of pressure, but don't worry, your arteries are well suited for the challenge. Anyway, that's just a little insight into uh, blood pressure, especially on the high. But what you need to do is consult the doctor if you're concerned or worried. Uh, doctor or physicist or, or nurse because they, they, they'll guide you along the way. Anyway, thanks for listening to NBC and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching one of our videos. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Thank you once again from your NBC team. Hashtag NBC Media.